I need something stylish to have a good camera and with this rising prices, most importantly, it should be cheap. This is Vivo V25. By the way, this video is made in collaboration with Vivo, but you know it, I know it, opinions are mine. But first, you get a big box. This time the box is grey and last year Vivo V23 had a blue box and oh, it's dual colour. You get the phone, case, paperwork, 44 watt adapter, type C cable, premium SIM ejector tool. And this way it looks like a heart. Hmm. Oh, by the way, come up with a really good line to get heart in the comments. Let's do some cheesy stuff. The phone looks really good. Like look at the camera island on the back. It looks like two eyes, some robotic cartoon. You get a plastic frame and this thing can stand on its own. In fact, on all sides, quite independent. Now the squarey boxy design gives you good grip to hold the phone, but it makes the phone a bit bigger. Like this phone could have been one handed, but now it's more than one handed. And the frame is so shiny. Like if you put it on a table, it gives you the feel of edge lighting. You get a glass back. Now the back can change color, but wait for it. We have Kaushik and Manu who can create the best design on the back of the phone. Kaushik, but you have to win. No pressure, but you have to win. And you guys have five minutes and the winner gets a visor hamper. Yes, it's a game show now. Okay, while they're busy making fun designs, the interesting thing is, how does the back of this phone change color? Well, I read about it and it uses something called fluoride. Fluoride is a mineral. And when UV light hits, it changes the internal crystal structure to reflect some different light. And crazy thing, even rainbow color fluoride exists, which looks like really cool. Fluoride is usually used in gems and ornaments. If you know more about fluoride, do let me know in the comments. Ah, it looks funky. Best design ever I made. <laughs> you should make an NFT out of it. Oh, nice. That's a K. What does K stand for? My name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Kelvin. <laughs> I thought. And here is the gift hamper. Not my favorite person, but still you are the winner. Are let, let us pose. <laughs> popcorn movie. Caramel popcorn. And we have something more. Yo, this one is nice. Like the video. Now. And another thing Vivo phones are known for is camera. You get a 64 megapixel main camera with OIS. And if you compare it with previous year's version, Vivo V23 and Vivo V23 Pro, the biggest upgrade this year is OIS. None of those phones had OIS. But none of that matters because how good is the camera? Well, we have Kaushik today and Kaushik, take my photo. In normal human photos, the skin looks good. It tries to slightly make the face glow. And in portrait mode, like look at this edge detection, like the hairs. And even in portrait mode, the skin is a bit bright. But in normal photos, I noticed that the photos are sharp. Like this photo, I took like just walking on the road. The fly is in sharp focus. It takes slightly boosted colors. They look social media ready, like the sky in this building photo. And you also get this vlog movie mode where you have this pre-installed vlog format. Hold on, let me try this one. Now, in order to make a video, I climbed this far up. The vlog was going on, but I don't know how to get down there. It's pretty height, man. I asked Kaushik, will I be able to get down? And he said, yes. If not, I'll help you. Come, come catch me. Like some of those shots look really good, but it should have given the option to maybe change the position or trim a bit of it. But overall it looks nice. So basically you have to shoot some footage and the camera app will automatically make a vlog out of it. It could be useful to make those happy birthday videos or a quick Instagram story. Also you can record at 4K 30fps on the main camera and both OIS and EIS works. So you can have an idea of the stabilization. Rest you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera which is common for this price range and in good daylight conditions the photo come out good and of course of course you get a 2 megapixel macro camera also you get this portrait video mode which where you can blur the background and on the front you get a 50 megapixel auto focus camera that can record in 4k 30 fps like finally 2022 and 4k recording on the selfie camera and you can have an idea of the mic quality and the video quality it's really sunny from behind and of course selfies come out really good like they are really sharp if you zoom into my photo and even the skin tone and the hdr was pretty good now see normal selfie cameras keep everything in focus while you see here on the vivo v25 it can focus on my eyes so even if you take normal selfies you get that smooth background blur like portrait photos 
And on software, you get the latest Funtouch OS 12 based on Android 12. Now, Funtouch OS has gotten better compared to two years ago. And it looks more like Android 12 right now with color changing in settings menu, notification, toggle, etc. However, in this Vivo V25, there is no animation in app closing and opening. Like see, if I open and close Google Chrome, there is no animation. The app just fades away. There is no word on software update policy for the Vivo V series. Now, talking about the good parts, well, number one, display. You get a 6.44 inch 90 hertz OLED display. It's an E3 AMOLED display. Now, in case you don't know, E3 AMOLED display consumes less battery and has better brightness. And even I'm not bothered about 90 hertz refresh rate because A, the difference between 90 hertz and 120 hertz is pretty less unless you're gaming. B, 90 hertz saves a lot of battery life. But you have a notch. If it was a punch hole, it could have been better. Rest you get wide when L1, so you can watch 1080p videos on Netflix and other OTT apps. And a really good thing is, you get HDR support in Netflix, which is still rare in this price range. So if you have a top tier Netflix subscription, you can watch HDR movies like The Indian Predator. Rest you get a single speaker. Which is loud, but at this price point, you can expect a stereo speaker. Number two, performance. Now, finally, you get Dimensity 900, 8GB LPDDR5 RAM, 128GB UFS 3.1 storage. Also, you get a hybrid SIM card slot, so two SIM or one SIM plus micro SD card. And in real life, well, we have to game Apex Legends. So, in terms of settings, you can play at normal graphics and 50 FPS, very high frame rates. Say, I told you I play really good. So we played for like 15, 20 minutes and there are some frame drops here and there, but overall for casual gaming, the gameplay is good. Also, you get 8 GB extended RAM where it uses 8 GB of your internal storage as a RAM to switch between apps. Rest, you get a 4500 mAh battery. You can fast charge it with 44 watt charger. It can go 100% in under one hour. And Vivo says they have developed a super charge tech on the charger, which is like 97.5% efficient. So your phone charges up fast without overheating. Rest, you get all the important sensor, plus you get five 5G bands. With respect to India, you will get 5G on all Airtel, Geo, and Vodafone in all parts of India. By the way, we are thinking of doing best 5G phone to buy under 25 to 30,000. The only video you need to watch about 5G smartphones. Let us know if you want that. 6,000 likes, we do it. Rest, you get 4G plus carrier aggregation. I checked it with my Geo SIM. All in all, Vivo V25 is a good looking phone with good main and selfie camera. If that's your priority, you can consider it. This Vivo series is popular because it falls in the mid-range category with good camera specs. So I would recommend checking the phone offline as well. How does it feel, how it looks, and you will also get a better deal offline than online. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you in the next video.